hi youtube family my name is vicky so in today video we will learn how to get information related to ec2 from border 3 python the information which i am talking about sometime we are in the situation where we need to get all the you know stop instances or we need to get the detail or we need to get the report of all the instances which are in running state or we need to filter couple of instances with the help of the tag so but there are a number of scenarios where we need to get all those information so information something like where the monitoring is unable on the machines or not let's suppose you have hundred of machines running in your environment and you need to get the detail on which all machine there is a EBS volume is connected or there is a monitoring which is unable or not so all those information you will get with the help of the Bodo 3 so how we will get that we will learn in this video before I go to the demo let's understand what all things we require in this video we need AWS CLI to be installed on our machine. We need Python 3. We also need Bodo 3 to be installed on our machine. Um, if you don't know how to install all those things, I have already created a video where I have explained how you can install AWS CLI, Python, Bodo 3, pip, all those things on your local system. I will give you the link in the description so you can go and watch that video so that you will get idea how you can install all those tools. For this video, I'm going to use PyCharm. You can use any IDE like Atom, PyCharm, or if you have Visual Studio, so you can use any any one of them. Now, this is my AWS console, and here I have a couple of machines which are in stop state. So you can see the information from here. Now, this is the information I need to get it from the Porto 3. So how we will get that? For that, what I need to do is I need to go to my PyCharm. So here is my PyCharm, and I am going to create one file python file and this is going to be test.py or even if i'm not going to get that is going to work oh it's already there um, demo one so we have the file created now what we need to do is we need to go to the official documentation of the portal 3 portal 3 ec2 From this documentation, I need to search for the EC2 service. Right now, I'm in EC2 service, but if you need to search, what you can do is on the left hand side, you have all the services listed. So you can search for the EC2. And once you select the EC2, you are on this page. Now, the first thing, if you scroll down, here you have the client information. And if you scroll down, here you have the information. So just copy this thing and enter it here. You the first thing you are going to import the border 3 and the second thing uh, you are creating a variable for the border 3 client ec2 this is the service name and this is the border 3 client and this is the variable you are creating like client so this this information you will give so you don't have to pass this complete information uh, with the um, help of the variable you only need to pass this information the next thing we need to get the information so how we will get the information from the ec2 that is something we need to use the describe instance so we need to look for the describe instance or we can also search in this now here we have the describe and then instance here it is this is the one describe instance and here we have the response so let me copy this thing response is equal to client so this is the client describe instance so this is again the variable any name you can provide here it's totally up to your choice let me close this thing as well otherwise we will get the error message here you can assign whatever you need okay let's go to the documentation describe the specified instances or all instances if you specify the instance id the output include the information only to the specified instances so it is something like if i need to get information of a single instance i will get that if i need to get information of all the instance i will get that how to get the information let's suppose i need to get all the machine which are in stop state right now so for that what we need to do is we need to use the filter option so let me copy this filter option from here and let me paste it here here we have the filter option 
the filter we have the name and the value so key tag information is there now this information i need to replace it with whatever the information i need so name let me scroll down here we have the parameter for the filters these filters i can use to get the information from the aws console so what information i need i need to get information of all the stopped instance so here it is instance state name this is i need to copy now where i need to replace this thing from here in the string name is equal to instance state name and in the value what value i need to give whatever the value i need i need the information of the running instance or i need the information of the stop instance so let me copy stop and enter it here this is my query but it is not going to generate any data for in order to generate the data we need to write the python script as well so that we will get the information if i am going to run this thing it is not going to give me any information it is going to execute so let me show it to you run demo one we will get process finish with exit code zero so that means it is running fine if we will get one here that means there is some problem with the code right now this code is running fine but i need the instance id as well so if i go here i need this information i need the instance id of all the instance which are in stop state so how to get that information for that what we need to do is again we need to go to the official documentation and we need to scroll down to the result section here we have the return type and the return type is in the dictionary form and it returns this thing and here we have the instance id this thing i need but this thing is a part of this list and it is it's a part of this so first i need to get the reservation inside the reservation i need to get the information of the instances and in the instances we have the information for the instance id now how to get that information from here hit enter in the response what in the response the first thing which you are getting is this reservation so you need to copy this reservation enter it here but inside the reservation you need instances so for instance in again you can use anything here from x in instance this information you need to pass it here whatever you will whatever the value you will give here like if you are going to give value x here so you need to give the x here okay let me replace this thing with instance only for instance in instance now what again what information we will get instances okay in the instances i need to print something so what i need to print print instance and what information i need to print i need to print the instance id again if i need to print something else i can give that value here as well like i, I need to print instance and i also need to print let's suppose i need to print the launch time or the monitoring state or anything or image id something like that let me copy this thing and let me enter it here let me run this thing run demo here i am getting the instance detail with the ami id let me remove this thing and let me rerun this so that i will get only the instance id i'm getting the instance id so here if you see these are the two instances which are in stop state let me go to my aws console and if you are going to read the instance id is exactly the same just check the last three digit exactly the same 408f 408f now let me do one thing let me start one of the instance start let me refresh this thing one of the instance is in the pending state or it's in the process of you know starting and the other instance is in the stop state now let me rerun my query now this time i will get information only related to a single instance 408f so 408f is in the stop state right now so this is how you can get the information with the help of python border thing you can get any information now let me go to the documentation again 
now let's suppose you need to get the information of all the tags uh, let me go here and let me attach a tag here so see I have one of the tag attached to this machine where it says the environment is prod let me go to the other machine do we have any tag see here we have no tag so let me assign one tag here environment is going to be dev to get the information of all the instances where the tag is brought so how we will get that information again we will go to our code from here we need to change it here in the name we need to enter what this key value information env and in the value what value we need to enter this thing okay and which instance is this ending with this now let me run this okay I'm getting some error message let's see what exactly the error message is so here it says this thing is invalid it is invalid I know the reason but let me go to the documentation and let me show it to you so for the tag we need to search for the tag option why we were not able to see the tag 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 option here tag key the key of a tag assigned to the resource to filter all the resources that have a tag with specified key now tag key so that means I need to give here okay now let me run this thing here I am getting the information okay so this is the parameter I need to provide tag is equal to what environment now if I go to my AWS console here it is now this is a tag so this is something I need to provide tag this is something I need to provide here tag tag is equal to environment and equal to prod now if I am going to change it to div I will get the information related to the other okay now this is how you will get the information related to all the machines which are running in your AWS console uh, let's suppose you need to get the detail of all the machine where the monitoring is enabled you need to get the information of all the machine where the EBS volume is connected you need to get the information of all the machine where, which are in running state so with this you will get information related to all those things so it, it just you need to go to the documentation and you need to read this documentation and the filter option what all filters you can use okay I hope you like this video and if you have any doubt or if you have any suggestion you can always mention in the comment section and if you like this video do subscribe my channel thank you